All right, what's up, y'all? This one's a little more serious. This video is a little more serious. I wanted to do something because um, we've got uh, a lot going on, I guess, because, you know, with Obama and gay marriage, which to me, I mean, one of the most beautiful things as far as marriage goes that I ever heard was uh, something that Frank Ocean said, which was that marriage is not between a man and woman, but between love and love. But some don't see it that way. Some people feel, I don't know, I guess better or whatever. I don't know. I guess the only thing in Leviticus was that you shouldn't be gay. You know, screw having shellfish and everything else. Only stone the gays. So, with that being said, here we go. I'm going to do this poem. I wrote it a long time ago, but finally putting it up. So, here we go. Let's touch upon a touchy subject. Homosexuality and those who love it. Look at me, as you can see, I'm a proud product of it. Though some try to make me feel shame of it, like, ooh, ooh, the church grew for certain. Come in for prayer, they looking at me like I'm already burning. Especially the preacher's wife, she thinks she's so perfect. Just cause she's in church every Sunday and on time for service. But who cares if you're in the building, if what's in the building hasn't been instilled in you. Then all you doing is building a whole group of these children to be hypocrites just like you. Oh no, she didn't. Yes, it sure did just go there. They say come as you are, nigga, matter what I wear. Like no, she is not in a Steve Harvey suit with the pinstripes and the matching alligator boots. But dude, since when does church have a dress code? Easter Sunday ain't even about church no more. And when you go, it's like getting in a free fashion show and have the folks you see that Sunday, you won't see no more. How are we supposed to say the souls of the hookers and the hoes if the dress code won't let them dress in the clothes that they own? Let he who be without sin cast the first stone. No more rock on all you hypocrites go home. But don't get me wrong, cause I do love the Lord. And I do realize that we do fall short. But could you please make them realize it just cause in their eyes, their sin is not as bad as mine. Don't make them right. My God, what happened to no sin is greater than the other. My God, so closer to me than any brother. My God, I wouldn't trade it for any other. Oh God, I hope I'm not shaming my mother. I rock my rainbow and some folks pay me no mind. So them folks, yeah, I call them colorblind. My girl had quit me for a dude, it had bad at first, letting go, I thought I couldn't do it. And I promised him twice the minute that do this. And when I was born, my package said no penis included. But in conclusion, just stop hating, cause we not judges even though some fake it. And don't call us heathens, not saying some of us ain't it. Just look in the mirror before you start discriminating. And that's it.